We're back live in the Superdome coming up the WBA light heavyweight championship fight. The defending champion Victor Galindez, the challenger, young Mike Rossman, age 22. You met them both earlier in our Up Close and Personal series. Rossman's kind of a cocky kid. He's had an errant or up and down career, as you learn, but he's had the capacity to come back. Some felt after his loss to Yaki Lopez, he wouldn't be able to come back, but he did, as he had come back earlier in his career. And now he feels with his youth and with what he thinks has been a decline in Galindez in recent years, he can wrest the title away from Victor. Galindez, on the other side of the coin, has been in his time one of the truly great fighters, inch for inch and pound for pound. In our up close and personal, you learn how he changed his style after the Cates bout and after having suffered that terrible gash over the arm. Now we'll have more championship boxing from the Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana, after this from our local station. in New Orleans. We'll be right back with the Light Heavyweight Championship. With me right now is you, O'Brien. Uh, you know him as Wyatt Earp. You've seen him in many feature films, working with youngsters around the country, but maybe you didn't know. I think 27 professional fights, you. Uh, yeah, I fortunately uh, got out alive. Let's put it that way. Where are all the scars? Probably, uh, golden gloves and then uh, when I was in the Marine Corps. Have you ever seen a magic such as Muhammad Ali? He is, uh, to me, the best that's ever come along, uh, maybe with the exception of, uh, well, the, the three in my uh, estimation are uh, Dempsey and Lewis and then, of course, Ali, who I think is going to regain the championship tonight. At least I hope so. Okay, we like the nostalgia, too. Okay, let's go back to Howard. We're about ready to go. Okay, thank you very much, Victor. Uh, Victor, Frank Gifford. We've got Victor Galindez coming up. Joe O'Brien at 27 professional fights. That's 11 more than Alan King. Sometimes these guys are, in fact, fighters. You see the ring announcer in ring center getting set to introduce the combatants. I was talking to you about Victor Galindez earlier. Let's listen to the ring announcer. To be scored by the point system with the eight count mandatory on the knockdown will be Arsenio Bernal from Mexico City, Mexico. Judge Wally Schmidt from Puerto Rico. And the referee of tonight's light heavyweight championship bout, Carlos Ferroca of Panama. Presenting in the corner to my left from Turnersville, New Jersey, weighing 173 in blue trunks with white trim, the Jewish bomber Mike Rosma, the champion of the world, weighing in tonight at 175 pounds from Argentina in red trunks with white trim, Victor Galinda. Victor Galinda. So the introductions of the two fighters. Kalinda, as I was telling you, and you saw it in the up close and personal, changed his style sharply, abruptly, after getting that savage butt in the Cates fight. And he turned into a counterpuncher, a cautious fighter. He's not new to us. Chris Shanklin and I had him back in May of 75 on the undercard to Ali against Ron Lyle. And we could notice the drastic change in his style. But now he says he's going to be aggressive. He's going to go back to the brawling, aggressive style that was originally his. Remember, condition the trademark of the fighters. Here's Chris Schenkel with the call. Round one, scheduled 15 here at the Superdome. In the blue trunks, the longest we've seen since Archie Moore, a light heavyweight champion, Mike Rossman. In blue with a white stripe, and the champion is Victor Galindez in right. Shorter by two inches, the reach is about the same. Galindez, with his back to us, had trouble making the 175-pound limit, but he is tough. Huge torso. Very careful, and he looks like a predator as he moves around the ring here. And you saw Mike Rossman coming around now on the right side of the ring in the up-close and personal. 
who abandons his defense and against Galindis he better not do it. It's a 10 point must scoring system. WBA rules three foreign officials two judges and a referee and Jimmy DiPiano who is Rossman's dad was very upset that foreign officials were judging this fight. A very stiff left jab by Mike Rossman. He's a six footer from Turnersville New Jersey nearby Philadelphia. Hoping to bring the title back after the retirement of Bob Foster United States boxer of course and that's how Galindis against Lynn Hutchins won the light heavyweight champion almost uh, four years ago. Round one the referee Carlos Baracol of Panama. Galindis very cautious. This is that probing first round that sometimes uh, upsets fans but smart boxers do it. Mike Rossman who tried with a low uppercut in the blue trunks on the right has never been floored has never been cut whereas Galindas the champion from Argentina uh, has a history of cuts and a heavy bleeder. A good left hook glanced a bit off the Duke of Galindas but Rossman scoring with it trying to flick out with a left jab another one finding the mark in the nose of the champion. is about half over before some 60,000 fans a record gate. Very short with that right hand hook. Fairly decent body punch by Galindas in the red trunks the champion. First round in about 20 seconds here at the Superdome in New Orleans. Wenders in his last title defense in May in Milan. WBA light heavyweight champion Victor Glenzis is five feet ten inches tall. Rossman on the far side. The blue trunks is at even six feet with a 73 inch reach. If you just joined us, it was a probing first round. We called it an even round in the ten point must. In other words, if you're scoring with us, you'd give each fighter ten points. But if a fighter wins a round, it's ten and then less. As Glenzis now is trying to pile up some points here before the two judges and the referee. This is the prelude to the 15 round heavyweight championship fight. Leon Spinks defending it for the first time against Muhammad Ali. Rossman sticking to his plan being more of a classic type fighter instead of a brawler. Very upright keeping uh, both hands up high not to get caught by Galenzis. Those are good left jabs. And those left jabs can not only be an offense but a defensive well keeping the opponent off balance. There no knockdowns. Neither fighter marked at this point. Third appearance in the United States for Galendez. Galendez has gone 15 rounds nine times. The veteran with 62 bouts, 52 wins. 29 knockouts whereas Rossman in the blue trunks on the right who keeps trying to get that jab and it's working has 41 bouts 34 victories 21 knockouts. Very nice combination a little light left to the body and then a right to a chin. Right hook thrown by the Argentinian. In close. <laughs> Good combination by the champion against the ropes. They're very, very short hooking punches. Beautiful left hook by Rossman. It may have been blocked from your view as the champion had his back to us. He caught him. There's that strong left jab right on the nose. And doubling up with the left hook, Rossman from Turnersville, New Jersey. Right hand lead over the left. Galendez, who comes back with two left hooks and a right hand and another left hook. Round two. We have 30 seconds remaining in the second round.
see camera in the dome. Ten acres of it. 273 feet above the 20 by 20 ring as we move into round three of the light heavyweight championship. Galindas in the red trunks on the right. Shorter. And the challenger on the left from Turnersville, New Jersey. That is Mike Rossman. And scoring the bout. Ten point must. After two rounds, we have it pretty close. Almost even. Both scoring heavily. Both to the body and head in the second round. Rossman, who in the past has enjoyed counter-punching, is occasionally trying to uh, take, make an attempt at leading. But mainly with that left jab, keeping his opponent off balance. Good body feinting by the 22-year-old light heavyweight challenger. Left hook missed to the body by Galindas, the champ. A beautiful right hand lead. Galindas was snapping away from it. There's a mouse now forming under the right eye of the champion on the far side of this 20-foot square ring. That can cause trouble. A swollen area can easily split. And he has a history of cutting. Galindas having trouble with the range, and when he does get inside, Rossman has a super defense with those two dukes held up high. But he did get it at right hand over the left of Rossman. Rossman shaken up, perhaps, with that shot. Galindas sensing it, now trying to go to work. The referee breaking them up, that's Carlos Baracal of Panama, doing a good job. There's a minute remaining in the third round, scheduled for 15. If there are any knockout punches, they'll come from long range on the part of Rossman on the left, whereas Galindas has to get inside. Looping right hand, another left, and Mike Rossman has got to be a little more careful. And a feint with a right hand and a left hook for the champion. Beautiful combination. Watching here in the dressing room is the man that's trying to gain the title for the fourth time, Muhammad Ali, watching this on television as you are. And now the referee from Panama, Markerow, says keep the punches up. I did not see a low win. Rossman with his back to us. Weighed 173 pounds, two pounds short of the limit. Melinda's stopped throwing right hands at all. He is a hooker from the Argentine, Howard. He is tough. He had a big third round. He showed his superior upper body strength. The right caught Rossman early in the round, and Rossman was hurt. In the second round, Rossman had a good round. The left, as you described it, the left jab stiff and connecting. But Rossman knows now the quality of the opponent. There is Muhammad Ali, together with the famed country singer, Johnny Cash. And I must say, Ali looks very relaxed in. there. In the meantime, let's go over and take a look at Leon Sphinx, right there. And certainly, he shows no sign of tension, at least facially. Now let's get back to Chris Schenkel and Melendez against Ross. And the light heavyweight division has always been one of the most international of the divisions. For instance, 21 Americans have won championships out of 26 in the heavyweight division, whereas in the light heavyweight, only 13. And Rossman is trying to bring it back. Galindas on four years. He's an unorthodox fighter. Does a beautiful job feinting with a right hand and then throwing a looping left hook. opponent that was Lopez the champion made a 15 round decision whereas Rossman being tagged by the champion and fighting back now the fight was stopped by his father his manager between rounds
light heavyweights preferring the center of the ring. A lot of circling, a lot of attempts at variety of punches, like that left hook came right out of nowhere. seconds we'll have a minute to go in this fourth round uh, a pair of left hooks missing very dangerous twice open for a right hand we've got that one minute rest for about 50 seconds over 60,000 watching here at the Superdome in New Orleans Louisiana that you're seeing landed add up. They're very cumulative. Being caught by both fighters. They're not heavy, sharp knockout punches, but will show up later in the scheduled 15 round fight. Ooh, there was a low blow, but unfortunately it was blocked. But all fighters are protected with the cup. light heavyweights. Look at that. There's a good left hook that shook up Rossman. Rossman cut it on the chin. Galindas, the champion in red, catching a most, the heaviest left hook that he's landed thus far. Let's go into the dressing room now. Muhammad Ali and Frank Gifford. Muhammad, uh, you can sit here quietly and watch this. Yes, I'm uh, watching these two fellows. This Galindas, I'm surprised that he's not doing as good as I thought he would. And you can actually sit here with what's coming up ahead of you and watch this fight. Well, I'm used to it. I'm naturally nervous. But with people like my man Johnny Cash right here coming to see me, it gives me a lot of inspiration. Waylon Jennings in here. You've got quite, quite a group. Thank you. Good luck out there tonight. This lights when Ellie came by and Chris Christopherson and, and, and then John Travolta sitting over there. And John, quick, come here. Come here. I want y'all to just look at John Travolta. Give us a quick step, John. Say hello there, buddy, John. Well, this is John Travolta. So you know I got a heck of a corner tonight. Like, like, come here, Liza, quick. Okay, quick, come here. we got to go back. Here's Liza. How you can sit here, I don't know. Let's go back to Chris. We are ready now. I got a team in here. Well, I hope we can book a concert with that talent. Johnny Cash is already at a concert in the Super Bowl. And I'll tell you, Mohammed, John Travolta may be almost as good looking as you are. All right, now we move in to the fifth round of the scheduled 15 round light heavyweight bout. No knockdowns. Both fighters have absorbed repeated heavy punches. That's Mike Rossman, the challenger, 22 years old, from Turnersville, New Jersey, about 40 miles from Atlantic City, in those long blue velvet trunks. Galinda's shorter in the red trunks, the champion. His 11th defense. Again, good scoring, looping punches by the champion. He is wearing the middle now, going to the body and head of Rossman. Remember, Rossman has never been down. But fighting back. Perhaps youth will be a liability. Surprised Rossman doesn't get away from the ropes. Can hardly do it now because he's pinned there. The referee should, should move in and get him off the ropes. Although they are punching three hands. Ooh, there was a rabbit punch. Unseen for the referee. These are brawlers. They're right for the Mississippi, the wharf area. And this is a pure brawl in the fifth round. A minute and a half to go in this fifth. keep punching away like that and Galinda's leaning on the challenger they will be very tired light heavyweights as we move along they won't get a rest until one minute from now tremendous looping hooking punches uppercut by Galinda's the champion now against the ropes Rossman finally got away from it good left jab and Galinda's countering back Up 
Bozeman may be suckered into the brawling style of fighting that Galindas likes. 30 seconds to the bell, the fifth round. That left hook, looping, missed by about an inch. Ken Rossman becoming more upright, more classic, keeping that left hand high, but in waves the Argentinian. The first great one out of Argentina, of course, Luis Angel Furpo. That was a glancing left hook. So, while they rest after that action-packed fifth round, let's go to Leon Spinks' dressing room with Frank Gifford. And Leon with his uh, nephew, Charlie. Leon, you sit here just as quiet as Ali is watching another fight. What's going through your mind, though? Nothing. It won't let me going through my mind through the time for me and Ali stepping in that ring. You ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. If, if I'm not, I'm in a world of trouble. <laughs> Are you a little surprised the way this fight's going? Yeah, See, I expect to go. I expect it to go a lot quicker. But, you know, man can show the state, I mean, show the world just like I did. I'll tell you something, I am amazed at both you and Ali, how quiet and calm you are. I want to wish you the very best. Thank you. Okay, good luck, Leon. Okay, let's go back now to Chris Schenkel. Okay, Howard Cassell and I here at ringside, and I mean we're right in the corner of Mike Rossman. Howard, I think you're probably surprised by the brawling style that they've allowed themselves to fall into. Not on Galindez's part, like other Argentine fighters, especially Monzon, he knows how to use the shoulders, the arms, the elbows, and that's where he's going to hurt Rossman. Mike Rossman, six feet tall, 173 pounds. Galindez having to shed six-tenths of a pound to make the 175-pound limit today. Had to weigh in twice over a period of about an hour and a half. It shouldn't have sapped any of his strength because both these light heavyweights worked extremely hard the last few weeks. They have fought this year. Galindez has four bouts under his belt here in 1978. The last July 8th, the knockout over Paulino. This is the fourth bout for Rossman trying to get that jab in. His last was a second round knockout over Matt Ross in Atlantic City. Missing with the right, but landing with the left jab. Those jabs being blocked by the, the right hand glove of Galindas, the champion. Pace was fast in the fifth. Now electing to slow it up a bit, wisely so. And down go the hands of Galindas. Right above us now. Right, right, right. Thus far, we've had a very timid referee. He's Carlos Baracol of Panama. And a good left hook, a glancing blow, but it took its toll. Belinda senses that he really hurt Rossman. Well, I'll have to say, no wonder Rossman has never been down. He can take a wall. Those are rough punches by the Argentinian. And they're in the very same corner against the ropes, and that Belinda's using that torso like a football player. He is vicious. minute now of round six. A little blood now coming from a cut over the right hand eye of Galindas in the red trunks with his back to us. Now we're getting a lot of blood from that cut over the right eye of Galindas, the champion. He's on the left as you look. Seconds remaining in the sixth round, and they'll have to do some patchwork on Galindis's right eye between round six and seven here at the Superdome. <laughs> Manager Tito Lecture from Argentina, along with his cut man Roberto Galindis, worked over Victor's eye in that in between round six and seven. Patched it up now as Rossman in the blue trunks. 
has been some kind of fight to score the 10 point must. Howard on the 10 point must system how are you scoring it. I have Galindez slightly ahead but Rossman's battle plan is now working. He said he was going to go for the eyes. It's a brutal sport directly so but that's the way it is. And there he was doing just that with his two hot peppery left jabs. Another one. And the cut has been reopened once more. Dr. Anthony Italiano of the Louisiana State Athletic Commission, of course, looking on. Nothing serious enough to call him into the ring. Coming up, a heavyweight championship fight. Leon Spinks in his first title defense against the great Muhammad Ali, scheduled for 15 rounds. See the blood over that right eye of Galindas on the far side. Halfway point in the seventh round, a sneaky right hand catching Rossman. Not a solid punch. Notice Rossman keeping uh, both gloves up high. To get the jab and work on that right eye. Good countering by the champion Columbus. <laughs> Referee Carlos Baracal of Panama. We're in the final minute now. You just joined us in the featherweight championship fight. Danny Little Red Lopez won on a knockout, 45 seconds in the second round over Al Alvarez, stablemate of Galindas, after being knocked down in the first round by the Argentinian. 30 seconds, round seven. <laughs> Galindas throws punches that come from all angles. see the big torso on the right of the champion Victor Galindis light heavyweight champ the last four years against 22 year old Mike Rossman in the blue trunks there have been no knockdowns Galindis in the red trunks cut over the right eye in the fifth round it was reopened in the last round and uh, peppering away with the long left jabs very straight in nature is Mike Rossman big fists both fighters Galindis this measuring 14 and a half inside those eight ounce gloves, which has been used for all of our bouts, including the scheduled 15 round heavyweight bout, Sphinx Ali coming up. A solid short right hand by Rossman in blue. This is the eighth round. It's amazing how the fight card and mainly Muhammad Ali have brought. 60,000 or more people to the Superdome in more than 30 countries. He is the champion of the masses waiting in the dressing room for his hopes of getting the title back for the fourth time. Out long range, just looking at one another. Second half of these three minute rounds at the Superdome. <laughs> Referee from Panama and earlier, Jorge Lujan of Panama successfully defended his Bantamweight Championship against Alberto Davila. 15 round unanimous decision. Its mark. 
two left hooks, and then a left hook by the champion to the body of Rossman. Believe me, this is a tough, light, heavyweight fight. Throwing those punches off the ropes with the champion in tight. Now it's round nine. Light heavyweight championship bout here at the Superdome. There have been no knockdowns. Belinda's the champion. And the red trunks cut over the right eye in the fifth round. It's been reopened twice, but his cut cornermen have done an excellent job at it. Keeping it under control. Rossman trying to land to the head as much as possible. Mixes up his punches to the body of both fighters. The left hook was very effective. The right hand was a bit. Rossman from the Philadelphia area. Where there have been four light heavyweight champions of the world. Including Harold Johnson, Tommy Lockman. Touchy left jabs, the champion allowed him to land. Two bangers. Cut slightly reopened over Glendis's eye. Now pulling up his uh, his his trunks. We'd like to alert our stations that at the end of this round we'll be cutting away for a station break. Minute and a half to go, round nine. Has those dark, deep set eyes. A little blood trickling down on the over the right and near the bridge of his nose. It looks a lot worse than it is. Mike Rossman, who should have youth as an advantage, seems to be pacing himself here in the ninth round. Still that menacing left jab. defenseless his knees are still wobbly but look at him fight back we'll have more championship boxing from the Silverdome in New Orleans after this from our local station Victor Emilio Galindez the champion from Argentina was shaken up in that ninth round the cut over his right eye was reopened as we now are in the tenth round of the scheduled 15 rounder now Mike Rossman has a great opportunity here tonight. Ranked six in the World Boxing Association, peppering with the left jabs, the left hook from the champion Galindas to return the title to the United States. And he really shook up the champion in that last round with a solid left hook, follow up with a right. Two minutes to go, round 10. Mike Russman in the blue has never gone 15 rounds. He has gone 10 rounds 12 times. We're in round 10. Did he 
three solid punches for him close. Now the cut is really opened over the right eye. You see the time at the right hand corner of your screen. Coming up to the minute 15 mark of round 10. trying to roughhouse it now just as much as the champion does. As long as the referee doesn't break them up, they'll just stay there against the ropes and do what they're doing. The referee from Panama. Oh, spinning. Because it's a referee's fault for not breaking them up. 15 seconds, we'll hear the bell for the 10th round. So the situation is reserved. Now it's Galindas against the ropes. Now back out where there's more breathing room and punching room. Galindas looking, to, beginning to tire now here in the 10th round, becoming very lackadaisical. So while they take that minute rest, let's rejoin Frank Gifford. Thank you, Chris, and one of the celebrated and very familiar faces in the audience tonight, Lauren Green. Uh, great talent. Oh, you're enjoying this fight, Lauren. What a surprise. This is a very big surprise, isn't it? Because they, they, they figured, what, three, four rounds? So you leave that Mike Rossman would last? Well, they talk that way. Uh, you have a surprise coming Sunday night, I understand. Yes, I hope it is a, a very pleasant surprise for all our viewing audience. Battlestar Galactica starting Sunday nights at 8 o'clock. And the first show is a three-hour show from 8 to 11. You've done everything. Shakespeare, uh, Bonanza, of course, remember that. Are you enjoying this? I'm enjoying this. This is so different. And you know what outer space is really like? No, and I don't want to find out. <laughs> well, well, you, you might. It's, In it's your like, show, yeah, that's about it. No, no but it's, outer space is like a little like Dolly Parton. I mean, you don't believe it, but there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the fight. It's a beauty. Okay, Chris. Okay, there are a lot of heavyweights like Lauren Green watching along with some 60,000 here in the Superdome and all of you. That's Victor Galenzi, who seemed to tire in that 10th round. You see the Vaseline, the coagulant over the cut over his right eye. Mike Rossman has what a golden opportunity. And Galenzi's will have to be less like a daisical and come to Rossman because we can see the confidence building in this 22-year-old light heavyweight. Mm. Beautiful left jabs, Howard, by Rossman and Blue. And combination punches almost landing at will. We're in the 11th round, scheduled for 15. And now the blood in the coagulant causing a vision problem, I'm sure, for the champion in red. But he landed a solid right hand to Rossman's jaw in that infighting. Lancing blow. Howard, that's that's a tough looking cut over the right eye now of Galindas. champion against the ropes is 29 years old 11th title defense first shot at it Rossman pinning him there meanwhile Barakal the referee keeps circling I suppose that great heavyweight fight in 1892 between Corbett and Sullivan was a little bit like this Howard just a brawl 21 rounds. We have about a minute remaining in the 11th round. New Orleans, the scene of championship fights in every division of boxing since 1892, Corbett and Sullivan. And New Orleans itself has had its own champions. Pete Herman, Tony Canzanero, light heavyweight Willie Pastrana, who is a member of Ali's family now. Agarra. 
30 seconds and they'll get another much needed rest. Now Galendez is looking to the referee to come on in and break this up. They're both anxious. Really peppering the head of the champion. All right, here we are now in the 12th round of a tremendous bout. And let me tell you, a contrast in styles, that's one of the um, ingredients that makes great action. And this is the scheduled 15-round light heavyweight championship bout. The champion is Galindas in the red trunks, who has taken the worst of it the last four or five rounds. And 22-year-old Mike Rossman senses an opportunity for an upset and a light heavyweight championship, Howard. He has fought a controlled fight for a 22-year-old. It's been a thing of beauty. He's kept to his battle plan. In the recent rounds, he is out-muscling and out-balling Galindas. But even there, as he scored with a combination, remembering Galindas' history in the late rounds, he must be careful because Galindis is an amazing counterpuncher off the ropes. And that's the way he has won a number of his fights. The Argentinian. Two minutes remaining in round 12. A good left hook by Galindis. Five feet, ten inches tall. Rossman looks more than two inches taller. That's a little a slim Jim Robinson, his trainer, and Eddie Eliano and Rossman's dad. Did a good job training Rossman, setting up that strategy to try to win the light heavyweight championship. There was a beautiful left hook landed by Galindez. But remember, Rossman has never been down. He has never gone 15 rounds, but he's in the 12th now. Unmarked. Quick hands for the light heavyweight. Very, very quick hands. Just surprising Galindez, the champion. Up to the one minute mark of the 12th round. More blood from the, over the right eye of Galindez, who now may be fainting weariness in order to lull Rossman. And not Rossman, he punches right back. Infuriated now is Galindez, who may be cut over the left eye as well. Yes, he is. There have been some accidental butting, where the referee refuses to break them up. Look at that head hunting. 30 seconds remaining in round 12. From Remember Galindez in the Cates fight. So there's now, in point of fact, a desperate fighter. The eyes are in terrible condition. Rossman is measuring him. There's no counter punching off the ropes. Galindez, Chris, is just trying to cover up. 10 seconds to go, and his cornerman will have to do a patch up work like they haven't had to do his manager, Tito Lokotu. A good right hand, and the champion is wobbling back to his corner. Had to be helped down. He is almost out on his feet. That was the end of round 12, Howard, and it's one of the toughest light heavyweight bouts we've ever seen. It is a brutal fight. It is, in plain words, a war. And to watch Mike Rossman, 22 years of age, in such magnificent condition, adhere so closely to his fight plan, and to have so completely controlled himself, never getting wild. He is in clear command in this fight and on the verge of becoming the champion. Our to fight you'll be covering the great heavyweight fight. Do you expect a tough one like this, Spinks and Ali? It's so hard to tell. I said Ali is at once the magnet and the mystery. I don't know how much he's got left. He has shown so little over the last two to three years. But tonight, he has to put it all together if he's to win. All right, now the light heavyweight champion of the world in the far corner has to muster, has to pull a lot of things together to save his title, which he's had for four years as we're in the 13th round now. And listen to this crowd, a huge crowd at the Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. Blood again coming down the right side and down the nose of Galindez. There have been no knockdowns. Vicious, rolling, pier tight. The referee can be folded from time to time. He's from Panama. But what you're seeing is 
just a brawl, and there should be more of what he's doing right now. The limb is wobbly, short leg, heavy torso, and Rossman keeps punching away. He is rubbery leg, the limb is. He is a beat. Oh, now, there it is. We have a new right heavyweight champion. And Galinda says yes. Galinda says that's right. The fight should have been stopped. What a light heavyweight champion who now has lost it. Admitting that he was outclassed, outpunched, came over immediately. And that is great sportsmanship. And a crying 22-year-old Mike Rossman called the Jewish bomber, hugged by his dad. Rossman taking his mother's maiden name. And look at his father. So the light heavyweight championship comes back to the United States in the 13th round. It's been an absence of four years when Bob Foster retired in 1974. And then Galindis won it against Lynn Hutchins, a Detroit fighter. Let's go to Howard Cosell. Howard. All right. You've just seen a remarkable light heavyweight fight. You've seen a new champion. And it was a beautifully controlled Thank fight. You. My congratulations to you. Thank you. You followed your plan from beginning exactly. to end. Exactly. So I said if he was going to come to me, I was going to sidestep, just kind of punch all night. He started to lay on the ropes. So I said, I go get him now. And he laid on down for me. Well, you didn't just count a punch all night. You led with I went the to left. Him. I went to him. In the, in the joy of Mike Rossman's family, Mrs. Mike's mother is crying here, and understandably with joy. We're going to look down at that monitor, and I want you to describe the action as it comes. Well, my trainer says, "Well, you know, I knew he shook him up a little bit there, and hit him with some real hard shots here, real hard body shots right to the head. Like I told you the other day, Howard, he's got cuts, and he can be cut. The blood was all over me, and here, right here, he's tired." And I'm just uh, When did you sense that he was tired? Because uh, normally he's round. at his most dangerous against the ropes coming off. Well, I know how to fight a guy on the ropes. I sidestepped him and, and just went to him, man. Sidestepped, went to the side, threw right hands, left hooks on the knee, left hooks, right hands over top, and busted him off pretty good. But again, when did you feel that you had well, control of the fight? When he started laying the ropes, he didn't throw as many punches as he did early. He stopped throwing a lot of punches, and I felt the steam of his punches start to dwindle down. age 22, Turnersville, New Jersey, just declared a new light heavyweight champion of the world. Let's get him back for one final word. Mike, in the earlier going, was there a point along about the fifth round that seemed to me you had been staggered and hurt? Well, he did hit me. He's a big, strong guy, and, and I just... Everybody said, don't stay with him, don't stay with him, don't stay inside. Well, I'm an inside fighter myself, and I could fight a guy inside. I was tying him up, blocking a lot of shots of his, and I was going under his dangerous okay. left hook that he's supposed to have, and uh, kind of punching that, coming back with a right hand and left hook after that. So you've come back, and this is the third time in your career you have. Some thought you were through when you lost to Yaki Lopez. No, it's, it's a lesson. I just learned a lesson. Good foot. All right, thank you. Congratulations. And that's the story here at ringside. Congratulations to you. On ring center, rather, with Mike Rossman, the new WBA light heavyweight champion of the world. The young man knew what he was in command, adhered to his battle plan. He beat a fighter who has been labeled in the past a great fighter. We'll be right back. Once again, I'm in ring center, or nearly so, in the Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. You just had the privilege of seeing a great light heavyweight title bout and a new champion crowned 22-year-old Mike Rossman. The bout is worthy of being seen again, at least in the final, the 13th round. We're going to show it to you right now. Mike Rossman coming out, already rubbery leg. Uh, rather, Victor Galindas and Rossman knowing he was in command. Melendez with now weak punches in the kidney area. And Rossman with that straight, stiff left jab. Melendez trying to come back with a left, but not reaching him. And Rossman using that straight, stiff left jab, doubling up on it. Melendez holding on. And when Rossman had to feel, he was in total command of the bout. Mike Rossman still in the ring with me and watching himself.